two, one. Here's the car. Whoa. Hey guys, good morning. What is freaking up, you guys? It's Tiffany. Welcome to another vlog. Oh my god, I am getting ready to leave the house because I'm actually gonna go to the dealership, get the new car and everything. Also, I'm wearing my Invisalign. Normally when I vlog, I take out my Invisalign. Well, today I have to keep wearing it because I see my orthodontist today, but we are getting dressed and I thought you guys would get dressed with me. I really like getting dressed with you guys. I don't know why. I haven't really figured out my outfit yet, but for pants, I think I'm gonna wear these guys I just bought these from ASOS I'll link them down below for you guys they're petite flare pants so freaking cute we're gonna put these babies on all right she is on so freaking cute makes my butt look nice and juicy although I do not have a juicy butt all right for my cardigan this is what we're wearing a cute little cardigan for from for love and lemons but let's put this baby on all right, shirt is on. I'm feeling super cute. I am wearing nipple pasties because if I wore my normal bra that I always wear, it keeps showing in this cardigan. So wearing nipple pasties with this for shoes, I'm gonna stick with my favorites. As you guys know, I always wear my Air Force Ones. I definitely need like different shoes. I have like four pairs of Air Force Ones all with different like prints on them. And I normally just stick with the normal ones that have no like designs on them. But I literally own way too many Air Force Ones all thanks to drip creation. So like shout out to them for sending me a bunch of Air Force Ones. Look how cute my nails are I did them on a live on Amazon, but yeah, look how freaking cute they are for jewelry I'm wearing my resin ring and the rings that I always wear and then I'm gonna put on some hoop earrings in a second Because you guys know I love my hoop earrings and then for a purse I'm grabbing this princess Polly mini backpack. So that is the entire outfit. Here's the fit. That's my messy floor I need to clean that. I'm gonna actually grab some water before I head on out All right, guys, here is a full-on outfit if you guys want to see the entire outfit. So cute. All right, heading out because I'm running behind. All right, guys, we made it to the dealership. I have my cashier's check. I needed a cashier's check to uh, get the car that I needed, and it's a lot of money. Yeah, we're spending more than $30,000 today. I'm putting a lot of it on my credit card because I get points if I do that, but I couldn't do it all on my credit card because they wouldn't let me. We're putting most of it on a check, but also, like, 5,000 of it on my credit card, and I'm so excited! All right, I'm here with Reza. He's been so fun and helpful. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm at the Mercedes dealership right now. I know, very shocking. Totally changed my mind about the type of car that I wanna get. I have to tell you guys the entire story because I went through so many ups and downs with getting a car. I'm currently waiting for Reza. He's running some paperwork and punching in some numbers and stuff, and we are gonna go home with a car, and you guys will be kind of shocked at what kind of car I'm getting. I think it's gonna be shocking for you guys. All right guys, I'm currently in the car that I just purchased. Ah! I might have to show you guys the car after my orthodontist appointment, so I'll let you guys know. It's currently 1.30. I have to be at my ortho appointment at 3 p.m. and I'm like an hour away. I don't think I have time to go home, but I do have time to get boba, so I might get boba. All right guys, so I am currently at Trader Joe's. I was gonna get boba, but then I decided I probably should have my teeth nice and clean before I go to my orthodontist appointment. So I need to get a bunch of supplies and groceries from Trader Joe's anyways. Oh my God, another Mercedes. That looks like a brand new one as well. Okay, we're at Trader Joe's, let's do it. Oh my God, cherries are back in season. This makes me so happy, I love cherries. Yeah, everything looks great there. Perfect, yeah, bite together. Yeah, it looks great from both sides, and let's see how the fit is. Well, the tracking looks great, so I'm not too concerned, even if you haven't been as good with them. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I just finished going to my orthodontist. They said everything looks good even though I am three weeks behind. So I should be officially, officially done July 6th, which sucks because that was supposed to be today. I kept taking out my Invisalign and forgetting to put it back in because I've just been snacking a lot more recently. If you guys have ever had Invisalign, there's like three weeks where you're allowed to have your Invisalign off for 12 hours a day. So once that happened, I stopped being really, really good at putting my Invisalign in. My orthodontist said it's okay. I'm gonna link my orthodontist down below because they are literally the nicest people ever but little update here we're currently at the platform which is in culver city and we are getting boba guys my favorite freaking thing ever i'm gonna grab boba and head on home i'm so excited for this boba i've been waiting for it all freaking day i got my boba it's so good 
Mm, mm, mm. Hello guys, I am home and I have my boba that's already gone. Um, kind of sad I didn't get a large, decided to get a small today. I'm just realizing how expensive today's been. I'm spending so much money today and I want to break down how much I spent today out of curiosity for my own self, but also I guess for you guys as well. I wanted to buy a lot of groceries because Matt's been buying us groceries, so I wanted to buy him groceries and myself groceries. I spent $82.76 on groceries today, which is quite Quite, quite a lot. Normally I only spend like 30, maybe $40 at Trader Joe's, but I bought groceries for Matt also, and just to like last. I also bought expensive cuts of meat as well. Like I bought ribeye, which is like $16 a pound. So um, my gardeners are here and I just laid out all my groceries and I'm like, oh my God, it is the end of the month. I need to pay my gardeners for the last two months. So today is getting so much more expensive than I was planning on it getting. So I just wrote them a check for $400. It's $200 a month and they were just so nice and amazing and I actually have a lot of plants that you guys don't see in my backyard like my front lawn is pretty massive and so is my side yard and I never show that because of privacy but this is how I spent $82 on my freaking groceries. I bought a bunch of like new things that I guess added up because I was actually shocked that it was $82 as well. I did buy a bouquet of flowers. I've been trying to buy myself more flowers. The second I saw it, I thought it was so beautiful, so I wanted to buy it. But here are all the groceries. Honestly, most of the expenses was from the meat. Like this was $8, this was $14. This was actually the cheapest cut. All the flank steak was gone. The only thing left was ribeye steak and that was $16 dollars a pound holy shit and then i got ground beef this was like i think six dollars and this guy i think was also six dollars because it was all natural whatever and then i bought myself fresh strawberries cherries blueberries i'm trying to eat a lot more fruit as you guys can tell we got egg whites we got my favorite pasta ever which is the cacao e pepe ravioli this is actually new this is tomato ketchup with summer truffle and I was like holy shit I need this in my life so also trying a new sauce called Cajun Alfredo sauce I'm excited to try it um my favorite is the creamy tomato basil pasta sauce I think this is probably the most exciting thing I purchased which is a masala simmer sauce so I just put away all my groceries I really want to show you guys my car but I have to wait because my landscapers are currently in my backyard so I can't even show you guys my freaking car yet once they are gone and done with that I'll show you guys the car that I purchased right now I am gonna do a little bit of work I have so many freaking packages that I'm kind of debating on if I should open them right now like let me show you guys the amount of packages that I have there's so many packages I have at least 18 packages if not 19 <gasps> 20 I have 20 packages. I don't know if I should do like a whole like PR box unboxing or if I should just all open them right now together. Should I do it right now? No, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I think the gardeners are officially gone. They're gone, which means I get to show you guys the car. You guys are ready to see which Mercedes I got myself today. Three, two, one, here's the car. Whoa. So I bought myself a 2018 Mercedes-Benz C300A, AKA a Cabriolet. You guys are probably like, what the heck, Tiffany? Pretty sure you already had this car. Look at this beautiful car. You guys are probably really curious why I bought the exact same car I already have. Well, let's get inside the car and explain some things. All right, guys, we are in my car. Oh my God. So the other day, oh my God, it's so hot in here. I can't film in here. All right guys, I couldn't film in my car because it was super hot and stuffy in there and I'm sorry if it's echoey in here because I just realized it's super echoey in this room. Either way, let me explain to you guys and backtrack as to why I actually purchased my car that I had for the last three years. So if you guys didn't know, in 2018, I leased my car for three years and my lease was up literally today. June 2nd, 2021, I either had to return my car or buy the car outright. So I could have easily returned the car and then gotten a new car from Maserati or Porsche or Mercedes or whatever, but I could not for the life of me figure out what car I wanted next. As you guys saw in my vlog about three or four weeks ago, I went to Maserati and Porsche and test drove four different cars. I just did not fall in love with any single one. Like I loved the cars, but I just didn't feel the same way about these cars like I felt about my convertible that I currently have right now. I knew I kind of wanted like a smaller upgrade when I got a new car. I wanted an SUV and I really, 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 really have been wanting a Maserati. When I test drove a Maserati, I didn't like the inside of the car. Then I went to Porsche where I liked the outside of the car 
cars. I love the inside of the cars, but it just, something didn't feel right just yet. So I never bit the bullet and did it. Also, I reached out to my car broker and he has been having trouble finding the exact car that I want because there is literally a microchip shortage, which means all the cars that I personally want are not being sold right now. So I wasn't gonna get a new car for a few months, which meant I was gonna have no car. So what ended up happening, which made me actually buy my car, was three days ago, I went to kellybluebook.com, which if you guys don't know, if you ever buy a used car, that is the best way to figure out what the purchase price of a used car should be. I went on there and I put in my Mercedes information and I was like, okay, what is gonna be a 2018 white Mercedes with only 17,000 miles on it going to sell for? And Kelly Blue Book said that my car was worth $40,000. And I was like, holy shit, that is way more than I was expecting my car to be worth. I called the Mercedes dealer and I was like, hey, like to buy out my lease, which is something you can do after your lease ends. I was like, hey, to buy out my lease, how much is it gonna be? The guy was like $30,000. And then after we talked back and forth, he was like, okay, with fees, registration, and taxes, your buyout price is gonna be $34,909 total and I was like this actually might be the smartest thing I could do which is buy my car in a couple months sell my car and make money off of my car so I went on Kelly Blue Book this is not an ad for Kelly Blue Book by the way but if you want to ask for a cash offer Kelly Blue Book will literally give you a cash offer right there and then so I did all that and it said they would give me $37,813 to buy my car outright right now so that is the reason why I bought my car because I'm actually making money by buying my car which is the weirdest thing ever so I was like in my head why would I not go ahead and purchase this car and turn it around and make at the very bare minimum $2,500 or at the maximum like seven thousand eight thousand dollars even the guy that I was talking to was like yeah literally you can sell this car for more money tomorrow if you really wanted to and I was like Yep, that's what I'm doing. I am still looking for another car. I personally would really love a GLC Coupe from Mercedes, but they are literally sold out for the next six months. My second option for a car would be, of course, the Porsche Macan. I haven't decided completely yet. Also, to get a Porsche Macan, it's about $850 a month versus a Mercedes GLC that's about six to $700 a month. So I haven't officially decided. I'm still waiting on my car broker to figure all the numbers out. I'm excited. I purchased my first big girl car like I literally bought myself a car today so I spent $39,908 to buy my car outright 5,000 of that was just in the warranty and 3,000 of that was in like the taxes and stuff and registration so honestly good deal I think I'm gonna hold the car off until the end of summer because it's a convertible perfect timing to take the top down a couple more times once convertible season is over I can get a new lease and then sell the car that is my a little explanation of why I bought my car. Okay, just to prove it to you guys that I got an all cash offer for $37,000, um, I want to show you guys the offer that I got $37,318. So, literally, $37,318 minus. $34,909. I'd be making $2,409 literally just by like buying it and then selling it to Kelly Blue Book, which is probably the easiest route to do. I personally will probably sell it on a private selling website um, instead, like Craigslist. Or if you guys have any other ones you've sold your car at, please let me know down below because I don't know exactly where to sell my car privately. Selling your car privately is a lot more money, so I'd probably get $4,000 extra or even $6,000 extra if I just did the work and sold it privately I can literally walk away with eight thousand dollars if I wanted to I think it's a win-win situation it's like 6 30 p.m. Matt and I are making an early dinner normally we don't eat this early but Matt is actually fasting tomorrow so we are having an early dinner and I'm having leftovers so I'm not spending any more money today we have some leftover pasta with onions with my favorite tomato basil pasta sauce I also added some like spicy pasta sauce as well. So it's looking freaking good. I have my favorite pasta ever, which is the Cacio e Pepe. Highly recommend getting this. I think these are pretty much ready. So let's give it a try. Oh my God. That is so much better with the tomato basil pasta. So good. All right, so we are trying out the um, chicken cilantro wontons from Trader Joe's. This is like a new thing we've purchased because I saw a TikTok on it and they're supposed to be like low in calories, not that I care, but I think that's kind of cool about it. <laughs> ah, that's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that 
is it with today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it please do not ruin what kind of car i got in the comment section i just don't want anyone to watch this and find out already so if you guys made it to the end of the video pretend that the car that i got is completely different like a volvo a prius maybe a tesla maybe a ferrari maybe a lamborghini if you guys want to see what car i'm actually gonna get in the next few months make sure to stay tuned but yeah i'm excited i don't know for sure what car i'm getting yet because everything is literally sold out they were they're not making anything right now because of the chip shortage which freaking sucks bye guys bye. hey you the best part of every single day oh no matter what i do i'll be lost in you